we're here at ESCBubble.com with Kasia Moss Hi. from Poland. Hello. Um, welcome to London. Um, yeah, I'm so now, happy to be here. Now I know you've already been here for a couple of days because yes. uh, you had a concert last night here in, in London. Yeah, I had a concert in Mikus Polish Club. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. It was a lot of uh, Polish people. Uh, we had a big support from the Polish community. So uh, this is good. I, 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 I sing uh, a few songs from my album a few covers but the atmosphere was wonderful and amazing so I'm happy that I did it. Yeah. And did you notice was the atmosphere any different because you'll be representing Poland so mm. did you feel that they were getting behind you in that sense as well? Uh, I think so they're very supportive and they you know want to like give me the positive energy and say Kasha everything will be fine <laughs> we believe in you so this for me this is like very important and I'm so happy that I have um, such a wonderful people who Okay. okay, great. Yeah. And, and you kicked off the promotional tour last weekend. You were one of the few artists that were in, in Riga. In Riga. Um, mm -hmm. So I know your flight was a little bit delayed. So yeah. it was a bit of a rough Fog in Krakow. It's but, always um, terrible, really. But, but we were there and it was a great performance. Mm -hmm. And um, how did that feel to kind of sort of get that first kind of sort of live performance with the Eurovision crowd? Uh, it was uh, really. I was very stressed because I didn't know that we, if we're going to make it or not. But huh. we, we, did, we did it, so it was wonderful. Uh, but the crowd. It was so nice, they were all like cheering for everyone, it doesn't matter from which, which country you are, they all were like, yeah! Uh, so, and I felt very good on stage, it was a good, um, uh, like the whole sound system was, uh, was, was fine, so it was so nice for me, because I was there with my, with my, cousin, uh, my cousin Agata, so we were so, so happy and, and we enjoyed our time. Mm -hmm. And was that also the first opportunity you had to meet some of the other artists throughout yes. this year's mm -hmm. contest? So, um, who, who did you meet? And I uh, I met uh, the the, the, the uh, Latvia uh, band uh, Trinity no Trip uh, Triana Park Triana Park when I was talking about it. Uh, and I met the guys from uh, Jost from Norway also uh, Martina from uh, Czech Republic and they were so really enjoying spending time together and it was and it was uh, very very nice but I didn't spend time with them. Uh, so much because because of our delay. Of course, yeah. Uh, yeah so they were they were having much yeah. more time. And is that important to you in terms of the promotional tour? I mean, obviously it's a chance for you to perform your song and to get your song known with the, the fans that will be at the event tonight. But also a chance to kind of sort of listen to some of the other songs maybe and to meet some of the other artists. Yeah, it's always. Get I always I always found very uh, inspirational to meet with other musicians, with other vocalists. This is like the best. Uh, we share the same uh, passion and the same like emotions. We all want to do our best to perform, uh, um, to give a, the best performance. So I think uh, this is like the best thing that we can actually meet together. And, uh, and maybe one day we're gonna end up as one big band. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> you never maybe. know. <laughs> do you agree with me, Greg? I do. I do. I do. <laughs> we, we, I did, uh, we did the Norway entry last year, uh, and when we went to the Stockholm, we, I was staying at the Globe. The artists were coming back from the from the rehearsals, some sitting on the piano, and then the next artist yes. come back, start singing. So it did feel like a big community. So I think there's this competition, but there's there's, there's yeah, It's always like that, that the music can uh, unite people. Yeah. And, so has it always been a dream for you to represent Poland at Eurovision? Because you've tried in the past in the national selections, so finally getting the opportunity. Uh, what does that really mean to you? Yeah, it's amazing that, that I won in Poland. I, in 2006, uh, I went to Eurovision for selection first time, but I didn't like the song. I didn't believe, maybe not like, but I didn't believe in the song. I didn't uh, go the song. And this was a different situation uh, from the with the song from last year, so Addiction, because it was our song from album Inspiration. So I really uh, like the song, I believe in the song, and I feel emotionally connected to the song. And I was so proud of our last year's performance. We were, we were like, the whole band was, was so proud, we were so happy. And then this year with the flashlight, the same thing. I uh, co-opened the song with Pete and Ricard, and Greg was also uh, uh, also 
so there. So we had such a great time. We created two songs. On the second day, we created Flashlight, and the song is really, it's really beautiful. I really believe in the song. Yeah. So is there a message within the song? Can you tell us maybe a bit more about the? Uh, I don't exactly know what the guys had in mind when they were writing the song, but I always say that uh, in my perspective, like when it comes to me, I was thinking about uh, animals because I'm a big animal lover and since I was a child I always wanted to help suffering animals and I still don't get the fact that in the 21st century we still wear fur coats and have dogs and chains. Uh, so I think I would like to dedicate the song to all persecuted animals, but also to people which don't feel like good in their own skin, that they feel like, like someone wants them to be different than they are. And I don't know what guys had in mind when they were fighting the song. <laughs> it's James Bond meets Animal Welfare. <laughs> But we sneaked her into the UK songwriting camp that we ran, right, right. so mm -hmm. we, yeah. that's where the song came from. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. so um, we know about your, your love of animals. I think I watched a, a live stream where you had your, your new dog and, and you were asking for a name. And, uh, yeah, Mimi. Mimi. Mimi, how, how, how yeah. Is she's, Mimi? Uh, she, Mimi is great. She, she's with my mom and dad right now. So she's our fifth dog and we also have two cats. <laughs> they are all safe from animal shelter or we we'll take them from the streets. So it was really it was really this. This uh, I want to shed the light to this uh, to this problem to animal welfare. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, well we're really looking forward to the performance tonight. The song. Thank um, you. Is there anything that we're going to sort of see differently on stage tonight? Um, uh, you're going to see the, my different dress. Okay. <laughs> and will it be the dress that you might be using in no, Kiev? No, no, it's not going to be a dress actually. Okay. I'm not going to wear a dress today. Uh, but Have you thought about your dress for Kiev? Because I think you were yeah, before that your, your mother might offer you a uh, dress. Yeah, we're working on it. My, my mom wrote the, uh, the picture of this dress and hopefully everything will be... This dress is going to be uh, beautiful and I'm going to feel good in this dress. Yeah. At least, yeah. And, and was there, is there anything else in the pipeline for the performance in Kiev that we might not have seen yet that might be different from that? Yeah, the whole visual is going to be different. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not going to be. And can you tell us anything yet, or is that all top secret? Uh, maybe top secret for now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be good, I think. Uh, yeah? Yeah, I had a meeting with him the other day. So. Okay. Yeah, because I think this, this company is pretty good, so yeah. we give them uh, our ideas, uh, what we would like to have. Uh, so I just hope that it's gonna look uh, like you know. Fantastic. Well, oh, thank you. We're really looking forward to, to course tonight and to and in Kiev and, and seeing exactly what those surprises are. So thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today and yeah, uh, good luck for tonight. Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you. you.